It is November the 11th, 2017. It is Veterans Day. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet or the land of the Salute out to all my family members and loved ones that have been in the military. My late husband Brian was in the Army. My nephew Davey was in the Marines. <clears throat> good, good friend of mine and Brian's, Billy Zimmerman, served in the Army. My uncle Russell served in the Army. My Uncle Fred served in the Marines. My Uncle Arthur served in the Navy. My buddy John brought all the toilet paper and the paper towels and jars and condiments and groceries and groceries and groceries. He served in the Navy. <clears throat> My brother-in-law Don was in the Army. Don's father, Stephen Plyshock, was at Pearl Harbor. He said if he would have been where he normally was at that time of day, he would have been killed. But since it was on a Sunday morning, he was in church. Good friend of our family, Bill Grimes, awesome guy, served in the Army in World War II and had a really rough time of it. Went through a lot of hardship, had a lot of struggles and just ailments, infections and exposure and really had a rough time. Bill Grimes and my uncle, uh, Russell Folk, they both served in World War II. <clears throat> my uncle, Francis Glass, was in the Army. Served, I believe he was in World War II also. He was my dad's older brother. Who else do I know? Anybody closely tied with me? It's not striking me if so. Um, you know, a lot of the people that I've went to church with over the years, many of them have served. And I was an army wife. I bear that title with, with pride. And my dad, age he was, was not called upon to serve in this world's army or this country's army. But served valiantly and tirelessly in the army of God was threatened with jail went morning, noon, and night stood up for what he believed in he was a courageous man 
very courageous. I love all you guys. <clears throat> you guys that serve in the military. You walk a wall, a line, or a, a minefield, and you protect me. Uh, there's gals in there too these days. When I say guys, that means whoever's serving. I thank you all wholeheartedly. Pray safety over you all. Our neighbor back home was sent to Vietnam. He is still listed as an MIA today. My cousin Tommy served in Vietnam in the Army. He was a shorter guy and not too big boned and they would send him down to crawl through those long tunnels. <clears throat> he still gets claustrophobic. Everything these people went through so we can be free is just amazing. And it deserves our respect and our honor. They're men of integrity. They've guarded me for years. Each one I named. Boyfriend when I was eight years old. Lawrence Sullivan. He was in the Army for 21 years. He's a ranger. Proud of him. So proud of these people. Todd Eckstein served in the Army with my husband. Good friends. Good family. Good people. Stand up for your flag. Stand up for your anthem. Put your hand on your heart where it belongs. Or you salute if you're in the military. And if you don't, you deserve to have your freedom taken away. You deserve to go through everything any one of these people has ever gone through. These football players that say they won't stand for the anthem. They need to go through what our military people have gone through. Every single terrible moment. And if anybody's going to make a million bucks a game, it should be our military. Not some creepy, disrespectful boob kicking around a football and running around chasing guys on a field. Our military, they have integrity. They work hard and they don't make much. They deserve all the respect in the world. So you know what? I'm boycotting all of football. I don't know which ones are doing it, so I wiped them all out. Period. You gotta take a stand for something. When those people were over there fighting for me, they gave up things. How can we ask any less of ourselves? Pray for your military. Pray for their safety. Pray for them to be cunning and wise. Stealth. God bless and keep them, each one. And God bless America. May she turn back to you. Now I'm going to read... Uh, yeah, Second Chronicles, I think it is. Or is it First Chronicles? Let me see. I think it's 14. Is it 14? No. <laughs> Maybe it's seven. There we go. It is Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. That's what we need to do. I love my President Trump as well. 
We need to make America great again. But she was great because she came here to serve the Lord God of the Bible, not for freedom of religion in general, although that is offered to everyone here. But our forefathers that came on the Mayflower came to serve the God Almighty of the Bible, the great Jehovah, the great I Am. That's what made America great. And it can be again. But the verse I just read, 2 Chronicles 7, 14. There's the key to it right there. <clears throat> Pray for them, uphold them in prayer, all the military, and our president, and support him. He's trying to help us. He really is. So support him and uphold him in prayer every day. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies <clears throat> to the oceans white with foam. God my home sweet home God bless America my home sweet home my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord he is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. His truth is marching on. And again, you can read that truth in Second Chronicles 7.14. Big salute and love you. Thanks. Many prayers for your safety and your blessings. To my military, past, present, and future. Have a blessed, safe, and wonderful day. Veterans Day, and I hope you feel appreciated. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Serenity Homestead saying, ciao for now, and hug a veteran, give him a big old squeeze, big old kiss on the cheek, and say thank you. <laughs>